Hello, and welcome to another Hexum tutorial. Today we're going to be looking at Vimodia, but more specifically, we're looking at importing and uploading videos. Now the first thing we can see is this right here. Follow these steps to kickstart with Vimodia. Here are a couple different ways that we can add a video. We can import a video, upload a video, get a video from our Instagram feed, our TikTok feed, or some pre-recorded videos. Today, we're going to be uploading and importing a video. So we can click on these buttons here, or we can go to the videos page. On this page, we can click import a new video, and we have a bunch of different options for getting videos on our store. Or we can scroll down, and we can click on all these different options here, with tutorials for each option. Let's click on the upload video button. And we need to drag our video here. There we go, and upload. Now our video is processing. Great, now our video is fully uploaded, but it's not yet published. And before we go any further, let's import another video, and we're gonna import from TikTok. And I'm gonna paste my TikTok link here, and import. Now Vimodia is gonna download and process the video. Great, so now we have our TikTok video on Vimodia. Our first option here is publishing, and we'll have an entirely different tutorial for this. We have editing, which is what we'll be jumping into next. We can download our video to our local computer, and we could share our videos on social media. So let's go ahead and click edit on our sun hat video. So the first thing we could see is we have a nice preview here on the right side and we can play our video. Let's look at all the configurations. We can change the title of our video, but I'm going to leave it at sun hat. We can change the video cover image. By default, this image is the first frame of the video, but we can upload a custom image or we can pick a new image based on a different point in our video. Let's say at one second or two seconds but I'm gonna leave this as default. So next, we can trim our video. So let's say we want it to start four seconds early and we want it to end a few seconds earlier. Now we can see in our preview that it starts four seconds in and ends a few seconds early. Next, we can resize our video. Currently it's three by four, which is perfect for phones, but you can change it to any other ratio. If you are on a different ratio, you can automatically crop the video so that it fits in the ratio or you can fill. We can change the background color we're going to keep it at black. We can slightly modify the position of the video. Or we're going to keep it centered. We could change the zoom of the video. Next for the music, we can add an mp3 music file if our video doesn't originally come with music. But if we want to add new music, and our current video does have music, we can mute the original sound and play the new music. But since our video does have music, we're going to keep it the way it is. We could change the speed of the video, maybe if you want it to run a little faster. We're going to leave that as default. And lastly, we can set the subtitles. So let's say just as an example, we want subtitles to start at six seconds and maybe last four seconds. And just as an example, let's put sun hat. So now if we play our video, there's the subtitles and they stop at 10 seconds, but we don't need subtitles. And of course, our last option is deleting the video, but that's everything we need to know about editing our video. So let's go ahead and save. Well, thank you very much for watching, and please let us know if you have any questions.